Maurizio and Carolina Mar and in today's video I have a haul for you and there's quite a lot of items here so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay so these are in no particular order, I'll start with a few items that I got from Topshop. So I recently got invited to the Spectacle Wearer of the Year Awards by Specsavers. I've done a vlog and a lookbook so I'll leave that in the description if you haven't seen it already. And I needed some fancy shoes to wear because I mainly own just trainers. Now, I'm not a heel kind of gal so I didn't want to spend too much money and I didn't want something that I wouldn't wear again that was too high. So I found these, they were actually in the sale, I think they were only £25, reduced from like 50 or 55 And yeah, love them, really nice heel height quite classic. I think they would look really nice with sort of mom jeans as well, but yes. Check out my Specsavers vlog if you want to see how I styled these up. And these were sold out online, but they had a ton in the Westfield branch, so if you see something on sale on Topshop, definitely check out your local branch, because they might actually have your size, so loving those. And these also came in like a dusty green kind of colour, and a black pair which were full price, but these were £25 from Topshop. So the next item I also picked up to wear to that same event, and it's just this top which is by Nobody's Child, it's just a tie front top. Now I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit small for me, but I've already worn it and there's nothing I can do. But I still really, really love this, love the style, the shape, the colour, the pattern, everything about it. I think it was only £18 or £20. I will leave all links in the description. So a pair of trousers I picked up from there, these are from the petite range but they do have them in the normal section and these were £20 and they're just a pair of plain ribbed flares. I love these. They're reasonably priced and they just jazz up any outfit and if you're short like me, I feel like flares really elongate your legs so Loving this if you're a petite girl. And now the next item from Topshop is a pair of skinny black jeans. These are the Sydney jeans. I've never tried these before, but I was very, very kindly gifted these by Surf, yeah, these guys, <laughs> to do their Surf Challenge. So basically they've come up with a detergent that keeps your dark clothes and black jeans looking darker for longer. And I was given the challenge to basically wash these pairs of jeans five times to see if they've faded and they haven't. They're as good as when I got them. I've worn them quite a few times actually. And they've also sent me um, a little sample here to show you guys so you can get an idea. So if you're someone like me and you like to wear dark denim or dark clothing, check out Surf Perfect Black. This is in the scent Midnight Orchid and Lily, which smells so heavenly. Loving this. So thank you Surf for my new detergent and a pair of black jeans. Speaking of black jeans, I also picked up another pair and these were actually from my recent trip to Liverpool. I will leave the link for the vlog in the description. And they were from a vintage store called Pop, I think, or Pop Boutique. And they're Levi's, sort of black denim. They were 20 pounds, so I just couldn't resist and they fit me really nice. So if you're from Liverpool, check out the um, area called Bowl Street. So many vintage shops, loving this. There are more black jeans to come, but the next item is from Primark. I've only got one thing to show you from there, and it's this gorgeous kind of knitted jumper. I don't know what this style is called, but I've seen it everywhere. This also came in like a dusty, rosy pink shade and a grey, probably a few other colours, but I picked it up in this and it was £13. Loving this a lot. And now I'll move on to some things from ASOS. So, as I've already mentioned, I do like black jeans quite a lot, that I've picked up two pairs, <laughs> two pairs of the exact same jeans. Now, I already owned these previously, um, but I've put on weight, so nothing fits me anymore. And I picked these up. These are the, to uh, these are the ASOS Ridley jeans. I love these. These fit so nice. And yeah, so I picked up just two of the same pairs, because... I wear them a lot. I told you, I do like my black denim. Another thing from ASOS. Now, some of this stuff I got a while back, so if it's sold out, I'm very sorry. But I'll try and leave al alternate, alternative links in the description. So this is just this mustard um, Adidas Originals t-shirt. I have worn this so many times. Love the colour. I'm sorry if I've shown you this already, but yeah, from ASOS. The next jumper is ASOS own brand, and it's just this bright striped kind of slightly loose fitting top. It's quite thin but warm. I really like this. It was £25 and yeah I thought it looked nice with just a pair of jeans from ASOS. So the next top was a little bit pricey because it is by Stussy and it is from ASOS but 
I'm going to be honest with you guys, I thought this would be like a slightly premium quality cotton because of the price, but I can tell you, you are just paying for the logo and the brand because the quality of this t-shirt isn't, isn't the greatest or the best, so do keep that in mind. It was 40 or 45 pounds, so not very cheap, but I think it's um, really nice to just kind of layer on in the winter. That's from ASOS by Stussy. Now the next item is going to be a bit of a hit and miss. It's a vinyl skirt and I have featured this on my Instagram and also my Specsavers lookbook. But I just fell in love with the colour. I'm going to show you guys. How gorgeous is this? This is so pretty. I love this so much. My boyfriend absolutely hates it. Um, I just love the colour. I think it's so pretty. It's like Barbie girl. I just, I love it. It was £30 from ASOS and I'm going to be honest, it looks better on the model than it does on me because on her the skirt fits like, it's like fucked in and tight. Um, this is how it fits on me. I still really like it and that was £30. The next item are a pair of trousers that I picked up also for the Specsavers event. So I wanted something a little bit smart and this caught my eye, it was actually in the sale, it's a two piece, these are the trousers and they're just kind of wide leg culottes and they're tailored so they're really nice material and then it does have a matching blazer which I wore, I will leave the outfit there on screen so you guys can see and I have actually worn these trousers on their own a bit more casually with some trainers as well so really versatile. Both the trousers and the blazer are on sale so check out the link in the description. Speaking of wide leg trousers, the next item are a pair of jeans. Now these are in blue, <laughs> but they are these wide leg trousers with a slight sort of frayed hem there and just along the top it's got this kind of fray detail. Really like these, they fit really well and these are also from ASOS and I want to say these were 30 or 35 pounds. Double check the link to be sure. And another pair of trousers. So these, again, I've styled up actually with that Stussy t-shirt and it's just a pair of kind of washed, worn looking camo trousers. Loving these. They are a little bit big for me on the waist, so I kind of just have to, you know, fold them over. But loving these, especially with some vans and like a side bag. Love this a lot. Some more trousers. Now these are sold out and I'm so happy that I, I finally got them. I was umming and ah in, but they're sold out now and I'm happy I got them. They are by um, Aless and they're kind of like these tailored joggers. I love these so much. My boyfriend says they're like Bruce Lee trousers, but I love it. I love them. They are, they are very Bruce Lee. I just love the fit. They're really nice quality, like really thick, warm. I love these. Sorry, I keep saying that. And some more yellow things. I don't know if you can tell I've been liking yellow. <laughs> it's just this uh, ribbed body, which has tie-up details just there. This is from Monkey from ASOS, and it's just got poppers at the bottom for fastening and a low scoop back. Liking this a lot. And then the next item is similar. It's a ribbed cami, but it's not a bodysuit. So this one I picked it up in black. It's ASOS own brand. It was only eight pounds. And I really, really liked this that I went ahead and got it in a burgundy as well. If you're looking for some basics, just some vest tops like or camis like this, definitely check out ASOS because these are so good. And then a few more Adidas bits. Now this jacket is from the men's section. It does come in women's, but it's been sold out for the longest time. I caved in and got it from the men's section and I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. This is in a extra small, I think. Yeah, I got it in an extra small and it fits me just fine. It's slightly oversized, which I think it's meant to look like that anyway. Love it so much. It was pricey, I think it was 60 pounds, but I don't regret it. I'm really happy with this purchase. And they also have um, matching jogging bottoms to go with this. And they also sell it in Urban Outfitters. So if you can't find it on ASOS, double check Urban. So I have actually been loving Adidas quite a bit. Um, I also picked up this dark green t-shirt and this again is in a extra small but it has an oversized fit and it's just got this detailing just along the side with the small adidas logo at the front and then just this on the back and it's in that kind of i don't know what this material it's like um football shorts is the only way i can describe it it's in that kind of material and this also comes in a yellow color it was £35, I want to say. Speaking of yellow, yes, I have more yellow items. This is a Adidas hoodie, again from ASOS on the men's section. 
love this so much. Yeah, nothing else I can say about it. It's pretty self-explanatory. And this was 60 pounds. And then I've got a few more jackets that I picked up from ASOS. Now this next denim jacket, I couldn't believe the price. It's by Pull and Bear and it was 19.99 full price. I couldn't believe my eyes and yeah it fits me perfectly. I think it is sold out but they did have it in a lighter denim. I will leave the link in the description. Loving the clothes in Pull and Bear at the moment. I think they're really reasonably priced and bang on trend. Liking it. The next jacket is from Misguided and again I have done a blog post and an Instagram outfit pic with this so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but it's this gorgeous kind of fleece, burgundy fleece jacket. I love this so much. I've had so many compliments when I've worn this. And yeah, this is from Misguided at ASOS. And now I'll move on to a few things that I have from Urban Outfitters. So the first thing actually is just these pair of little gold earrings that I'm wearing. Again, I picked these up in Liverpool. They were only six pounds and I've had them in my ears ever since I got them. And yeah, they haven't gone a different color or anything. Really, really like these. The next item is also an accessory and it's just this East Pack kind of body bag, side bag. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, liking this, I think it was 20 or 22 pounds. And then it's also got a little zip compartment on the back as well. So. Liking this a lot. And another bag which I picked up from Urban Outfitters because they had 20% off this particular brand. Otherwise, I'm not paying full price for it. It's really expensive. It's about £75 full price. But I have to say, it fits a hell of a lot of things in it. And it's this, I can't pronounce it. I'm not even going to attempt it. But yes, it's this particular brand. Um, I got it at Urban Outfitters. They come in loads of different colours. This fits so much. If you're on the hunt for a rucksack that fits a lot, check out this, because it's amazing. And a few clothing items that I have from Urban. The first is just this t-shirt. Now this is such nice quality. Like the cotton on this feels amazing. It's just this orange Nike t-shirt. I think it was 25 pounds. Could be wrong. Really, really like that. And then more Adidas stuff. Just a pair of these leggings the Adidas original leggings. I think these were £22 from Urban Outfitters. And then I have some shoes and one other place to get through. So I picked up a pair of trainers from Foot Asylum. These are from the junior section, because they're cheaper. And these are the Adidas HU, so the, the Pharrell Williams stuff. I picked up these, I love them. I love this sort of hint of pink. They're more of a summer shoe, but I just couldn't resist. So yeah, these Adidas, Hue or HU trainers, and they also come in a few different colours. So if you don't like this one, check out Foot Asylum or any other sports shops. <laughs> and now a few more pairs of shoes, except these are little boots. Um, I picked these up from Bershka. How gorgeous are these? I think they were only £25 or £29, and they also come in a patent red. But I thought I would go for black reasonably comfortable and a decent size heel as well. And the next pair, which are also from Bershka, are these gorgeous red faux suede boots. They were only 25 pounds. And um, fellow YouTuber and blogger Nabile actually um, convinced me to pick these up. So thank you, Nabile. I'm glad I got these. And they're from Bershka. Also from Bershka is this cute little lace top. And the sleeves are just kind of flared like that. And it has this kind of eyelash detail just along the bottom. I think this was £17 or £19. It wasn't too expensive, but that's from Bershka. And then another pair of black jeans. Now, these are different. They are skinny jeans, but they have kind of like a ripped knee and ripped detailing just along the top and the sides there. And the bottom of these jeans are just kind of frayed and distressed looking. I think these were £30 from Bershka, but I really like the fit of these. They're a little bit long, but otherwise they fit perfectly. And now the next pair of jeans. I love these so much. They're not going to be to everyone's taste, but they're also from Bershka and they're, how can I explain them? They're like, they look normal. And then the bottom of them are just kind of open. It gives like a flared look, but they're not actually flared. And again, the fit. I'm really liking Bershka and Pull and Bear at the minute. So that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, if you do try the surf challenge, then don't forget to use the hashtag surf challenge and tag me so I can see your results. And I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more. Peace.